Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Sagittarius, let's see how you're feeling, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection now. And Sagittarius, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, just leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Sagittarius spirit. All right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One set will be for you, one set will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Sagittarius, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, for me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody is very upset and angry. I think this person wants to return back. Uh, from one person's point of view, I do see Sagittarius. They've made up their mind. I made my decision. This connection is not going anywhere. This person just broke my heart. They made promises they never kept. They were sitting in their ego pride. I'm going to go after my own victory and success now. This was too much of a burden to carry. I have to get unstuck from this situation. The other person say is hoping this connection isn't still over. They want to come back. They, they don't like being left out in the cold. They want to end the stagnancy which has happened in this connection. They do want to make things right. But they are, I think, a little upset and angry that the other person's maybe given up on them or chosen a new direction. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, Sajis. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll clarify the rest. Sagittarius and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Sagittarius and their person spirit. Sagittarius and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be spirit? All right, and just a few more from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Sagittarius and their person spirit. Sagittarius and that person. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Sajis, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I see you in my dreams, wishing it was a reality. I can't stop thinking about the times we once shared. I imagine the type of person you'd want to be with and that person is nothing like me. Sometimes I leave so you can know that you'll be just fine without me. I want you to trust me. Trust that I'll know the right time to take things to another level. Maybe somebody was trying to control the situation. They thought they had all the power and I, you know, it's like my way or the highway or when I want to take it to the next level. I'm not your prince and you're not my princess. I am your emperor and you are my empress. I just want to die in your arms tonight. I didn't mean to hurt you. I saw your desire for me when you looked at me. I'm afraid to say the wrong thing. Nothing seems good enough without you. I made a mistake. How do you know so much? I want to be the man that you need. All right. So these were some of your messages, Sagittarius. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, as always, an angel blessing card. And this one is going to be for the viewer. Because you could be watching. Maybe there's a cross watcher here. So a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for the person who's been drawn towards the reading spirit. And the card you get, viewer, is pause. Maybe this is a pause uh, orchestrated by the universe to maybe uh, make you guys reflect on some lessons that you had to learn from each other. 
so this connection seems to be stagnant right now pause going on okay spirit so tell me what's going on with them individually and what can we expect let's start with person a's energy and newcomers please remember these are not gender based i'm not guessing which side you're on uh, if this is your reading you'll immediately pick up who this person is in your life and which side you're on yes it can be a love interest spouse ex secret crush could even be your business partner best friend boss uh, please use your judgment there it is a general reading so i'm going to focus on you person a first and once i'm done with you later i'll move to the other side so person a let's talk with you then your emotions and your feelings i do see the two of swords in reverse what's that all about you made some kind of decision yeah person a says i've made up my mind this was a very imbalanced connection and they didn't choose me so i chose myself i'm not putting in any more work into this connection not going to put in any work into a imbalanced connection because uh, um even if i think person a felt that this was a soulmate or a friend or something i think they are choosing now to turn their back on this connection because they felt that this was not moving in the direction i think to something long term uh person a is saying yeah i no long no, i'm i'm cutting this connection off no more second chances to this person they ended up betraying me if this was a soulmate then this was a karmic or a false soulmate connection they betrayed me it's over for me they hurt me and i have to do right for myself and the right thing for me to do is to cut this connection off and move forward why do you feel like that person a tell me person a says because uh, well they broke my heart they made promises they never intended to keep and uh, all they wanted was to feel you know Uh, seen by me or you know they wanted to have victory over me or something i don't want to be in a connection which is only passion and nothing else that is really imbalanced so six of wands yeah person a is is very upset and very angry they're very upset and very angry they're saying you know what i don't trust them anymore i don't trust them anymore i'm cutting this connection off i don't uh, want to go back to this person i am now moving towards my own happiness i'm blocking this person or you know this connection off because in this pause time i've realized i deserve so much better so right now i'm not chasing them i'm focusing on my own abundance i'm not going to be carrying all the weight and the load of this connection i'm giving up on this because none of my dreams and wishes came true here so i'm moving towards my own success and happiness now okay so and how do you see this connection now person a how do you see person b and how do you feel about this connection currently 10 of wands so person a says this was just too much too much for me uh, too overwhelming too much of a burden yeah i've kind of lost hope in this connection now i'm kara taro in fact i put that burden down and right now i'm just healing myself i'm healing myself and i'm getting unstuck from any expectations of this connection right person a yeah because it wasn't moving it wasn't moving in the right direction they feel that person was never going to step up and do right by them or take responsibility for this connection or do right by them so person a says i'm done i i don't want to be stressed out or stay stuck and bound in a situation which is imbalanced i am now moving towards my own peace and happiness i'm manifesting a brand new beginning for myself i'm not even waiting for an offer from them anymore okay so what action person a you will finally take uh, most probably is oops sorry this one which i'll open later uh, right i'm going to go to the other side and see how person b is feeling then i'm going to open the action cards together all right so person b what about you how are you feeling now eight of cups in reverse they want to come back yeah they are standing at crossroads now they are uh, stuck now they are they don't know which direction to take uh, they're trying to maybe plan out is there any way i can return back to them they really miss person a they are grieving they are feeling bad that you know things you know fell apart the way that they did maybe this guilt remorse sadness no they are still dreaming of a reconciliation they want to try again i have a feeling they want to try again they are they are in pain now they are hurting because i think this secretly i think person b is hoping that this connection hasn't ended 
or there is a possibility of you know having another chance with person a now they are not sure about how person a feels though they are like going back and forth in their mind i don't know how they feel about me do they even want to work with me anymore have they emotionally detached from me have they walked away elsewhere now why do you feel all this person b tell me person b says because I feel I am the one who finally got left behind. I feel abandoned. I want to come out of that. Yeah, I, 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 I think they are also manifesting. What are you manifesting? What are you manifesting, person B? Some communication at least. They want to communicate. They're not sure whether a person A is open to anything long term anymore, but they do want to communicate. They do want to bring back the happy times, you know, be friends again or something. They are really missing person A. That that much is there. This they this they are going through a lot of guilt, shame, remorse for whatever happened in the past, and uh, maybe this person did behave like a player in the past or something. Maybe they just wanted passion and nothing else, but uh, and they never expressed their emotions. If they had, I think they had some emotions which they hid very well. Now it's like, yeah, I want to talk to them. I want to make things right with them. I want to clear the air with them. Uh, somewhere they are hoping that person A would forget about all the past baggage. Uh, they really value person A. They really are seeing person A as somebody who's incomparable, who's really abundant, who's not chasing them, maybe pushing them away, and yet being very happy in their own life. That's not making them happy. They feel, oh my God, I made an unwise and foolish choice in the past. Why did I hold hold back? Why did I play all those mind games? I'm the one now who's grieving. I'm the one who's hurting. So, how do you see this connection now, person B? How do you see person A and how do you feel about this connection currently? Justice. They want to make things right. Yeah, they want to now get over the stagnancy that's come into this connection. They want to make things right. At least they're hoping that we can, you know, we can heal the rift that's happened between us. Uh, let's find peace and happiness again. I think they're just tired of being trapped in their mind and worrying and thinking and being stuck and, you know just they they don't know what to do so they are at least hoping that you know they can come out of their stuck position and end the fight i think main thing they they're saying i don't know whether they want to commit to me or they will see me in their future but at least i want to end the fight at least i want to be friends again that's the kind of energy i'm getting two of wands in reverse two of wands in reverse two of wands in reverse yeah, they're not sure. They, they are going to try. I think this person is going, they're obsessing, my God. This person is obsessed. I just want to try again. I want to talk to them. I want to message them. They could be very depressed right now. They're not sure. They want to actually, now they're envisioning. They're envisioning, yeah, we could have had it all. We could have had a, you know, happily ever after. This was such a wonderful connection. But now they're not sure whether their offer will even be accepted. So... Let's see what actions you guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Sagittarius. And while I shuffle this deck now, may I please request you, remind you, if you could just tap the thumbs up button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate. Keeps me motivated to do more readings for you, Sagis. And newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. All right, so person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Knight of Pentacles. Person A says, full stop. I'm not make, putting in any more effort. This connection has stopped and that's it. I've been hurt, I've been betrayed and I'm done here. Ten of Swords. Okay, clarify this for me please. Why the full stop? Justice. Queen of Pentacles and the knight of cups person a says i'm going to do right for myself i know i'm marriage material i know what i bring to the table i know that i'm perfect you know partner material and i'm i was always good to them as well but you know what if they hurt me they betrayed me they didn't do right by me somebody else will i'm going to move on to give my heart to another okay so person b what about you What's your action towards person A or otherwise in your own life? 
three of pentacles i'm telling you this person wants to work things out they're hoping that they can still work things out and you know let's see three of pentacles person b clarify that for me please seven of pentacles three of wands two four, four of cups this person is very discontent they are very disappointed they wish they had invested when the time was right they're looking into their future i think they are dreaming you know of having another chapter or just that would make them feel very victorious if person a would even will be willing to be friends with them again or work with them again they're just sitting very discontent now very very discontent they look in the, they're looking into their future and feeling there's nothing really to look forward to they're wishing now that they had invested when the time was right but they didn't and now they're disappointed am i right person b yeah they feel person a saw right through them and uh, because they were unable to maybe make a decision or a choice now they feel person a has strong boundaries up then uh, you know they have their guard up we look at them they are so successful in their own life i wish i could have done the right thing i wish i had you know um, seen a ten of pentacles then that i see now i wish i could have committed to them now uh, they're just going back and forth in their own mind first and foremost i think they just want to bring the connection back to a place where both of you are ready to work with each other at least that's what this person is trying to manifest they're stuck they are stuck but and they just keep imagining i wish i could get one more chance so why is the king of swords in reverse then spirit overall energy okay so i i think it's them i think they are angry at themselves because i think in the past this person made some very unwise and foolish choices which they don't know whether they can rectify or not they are like scared now so many bad memories have been made what if i've lost this connection they are spying on the other person and now realizing this was the perfect partner for me so well that's what i have for you till next time then Love and light. Take care. Namaste, Sagittarius.